The whole moon program itself was all a part of politics. You know, what are we going to do to get away from this disaster in Cuba? And what are we going to do about the this integration activity? And what are we going to do about the war over there? Need some something different for people to latch on to. Let's go to the moon. Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. We, we came from all over the world, literally, you know, in, into this environment. And, and we worked our tails off for, for many years uh, to get to the moon in that decade. You know, it required a lot of personal sacrifice. So I had 60... John Tribe says the astronauts knew they were going to be in the public eye, but didn't quite realise how much scrutiny they would be. Neil Armstrong was kind of a quiet guy, but he was always, he, he, always a gentleman. He was always polite. So that's you? And Neil Armstrong. Yep. When you spent 50 years of your life in the public eye, Neil backed away. You know, he didn't want to sign anything. He didn't want photos taken. Uh, he wanted to just be private person Neil Armstrong. At this museum in Titusville, consoles and various space mission memorabilia donated by astronauts and space workers are lovingly showcased. This week is very much about honouring the achievements of the past, but at the Kennedy Space Centre, one eye's firmly fixed on producing astronauts and technicians for the future, with hands-on training experiences for younger visitors. They'll be needed. We're in a real renaissance now. The nation is building three capsules to return to the moon. Two of them are being built here. We're building big rockets, state-of-the-art satellite facility. It's good time because the birthplace of American spaceflight is now reinventing itself as America's spaceport. Our long-term vision is to make Central Florida the gateway to all of the economic activity that's going to be occurring in the solar system over the next 50 to 100 years. Now, the next space race is not between international superpowers, but between super corporations run by billionaires who want to be the leading light in the space economy. Now, behind me, SpaceX, one of those corporations, is actually building a starship which they intend to go to Mars. To be honest, I'm quite surprised we've got this close and we can actually see it because Corporations like this are normally very secretive about this kind of stuff, so, wow. And I was right to be wary. Turns out, this is only a prototype that'll be used for testing. The real Starship's being built elsewhere. Three, two, one, zero. While SpaceX, owned by billionaire Elon Musk, in the meantime, continue to launch rockets from Kennedy Space Center, like this, carrying satellites on behalf of the US Air Force, amongst others. Command engine start, two, one. And SpaceX aren't the only players in town. Blue Origin is owned by the richest man in the world, Amazon's Jeff Bezos. We're fortunate here in Florida, our goal is to try to make sure that we have these billionaires and others trying to outcompete one another for who's is bigger here in Florida. And what about tourism to the moon? We're probably not too far away from that. A uh, decade or two. I, th I think when people start making lots of money by providing tourism in space, then more people will want to do it, which further drives down the price. But for those of us who can't afford the hundreds of thousands of pounds to go up into space, the goal of the Kennedy Space Centre is to keep us entertained with interactive exhibits, events and celebrations during this, the year of Apollo. <laughs>